Um, <laughs> what? I got tons of those at home. I'm a fucking just. I can get one of those anytime I want. There's a guy making making them out of boxes out there. <laughs> and they sounded great. I was like, man, this smells better than mine. He said, it's going to pick up too. I'm looking for the cigars here. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Holes and resonator things in it. He was jamming on it. Like a, sound like a black guy. <laughs> it's a song of peace. I was trying to make peace with this neighbor that uh, kept mowing my lawn until I finally called the police. <laughs> we were trying to grow a wildflower garden and he wanted to keep it neat. And um, I knew it was going to be trouble because my partner is a habitat gardener and uh, he came down the walk and introduced himself to us when he moved in. To this huge house um, and he introduced himself and said, uh, hi, my name is Jay, I'm OCD, I hope you keep it along the way I do. I was like, oh man, I'm, I should just call the police right now. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, a year and a half later, I ended up calling the police because the guy kept mowing the edge of our lawn and we had spent all this, you know, putting in this wildflower garden and then we didn't speak for a long time and, and then they had a son and his son would run through the yards and everything and his son ran like this, what is a boy that ran like that? Big old forehead like his mom, which is good because his dad was over there. <laughs> and uh, I decided I had to make peace with this guy somehow. And it took like a good half of an album to do it. And uh, <laughs> so I thank him for that. I could have got a good album out of this asshole. But uh, <laughs> I, um, I, just, I just decided to go ahead and write this song of, of peace for him. And I'm going to do it for you now. And I want to. I, I want to thank, I want to thank Dublin for, for having me here tonight and all the people that put on the folk festival, i.e. <laughs> and I found out, where this song comes from, I found out that he was a, a, a brakeman on a, a, the bobsled team in the Olympics. My luck, I, I gotta go up against a guy that was an Olympian. That's like, really? Really, he should never have messed with a folk singer, though. That's what I'm <laughs> so, so I know he could probably kick my ass, but I, I can talk about him for the rest of my life through audiences all across America. <laughs> and I take great solace in the fact that he was a brakeman on the Bob Fled team in the 90s, and the Jamaicans were kicking up us in Bob Fled then, so that's pretty good for me. But, uh, but I wrote this song <coughs> as, a, as a song of peace, and uh, it goes like this. The brightman sun wanders through my gate, face and hands covered with what he last ate. My dogs lick him from head to toe, knock him down gentle in the virgin snow. His daddy's nervous cause it don't make sense how his baby boy end up the side the fence. But these dogs have put a hurting on a stranger called that ever lay a hand on the brakeman's son. Now me and your daddy don't speak and that's fine since he up and sold his parcel to the northwest line. They cut the train trestle across my land, turn my topsoil into worthless sand. No, you will never see us breaking bread. Now the railroad got a price upon my head. We'll be doing battle till our days are done. There's a legacy for the pregnant son. Now the pregnant stops a moving train. And his son looks up at the summer rain And he catches raindrops in a little pepper cup And when that fills up on his tongue
keep his family fed, but never be the one to move the train ahead. There'll never come a day we see eye to eye, and I think about it every time a train goes by. Now the pregnant stops a moving train.